That's a shame. Look at this trans line down here. Man, look at this thing. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So I'm over here with Black Beauty. I was in the process of giving her a little facelift. So I took off the bumper and I peeked into this hole right here and look what I saw. A disgusting, nasty, corroded, rotten trans line. Thought I had to address that immediately because that is looking bad. So what I did was I got some trans lines, got myself a trans filter. So we're gonna go service the tranny today, yeah. So the two problems I'm having right now is one, the rust, obviously. Number two is this factory skid plate is in my way. If I want to get to those trans lines, we're going to have to drop this pin. Um, the other issue I'm having is, of course, more rust. Look at these bolts. Look how gross they are. Just completely rusted out. These are up here holding on this skid plate, and I got two more. Uh, they look just like this, ugly, corroded, rusted sway bar bolt, and these are in the frame. So what I'm going to do is get up in there, I'll show you them, and then I'm going to torch them, try to heat them up so we could drop this pan without snapping the bolt off in this unibody frame. So let's go ahead and do that now. Beautiful. Ah. Holy moly! Here's a great shot on how bad these trans lines are. What a difference from when I first refurbished this Jeep back in 2017. Good grief. 415, the entire thing. It held up pretty good. So far, I think I stopped the rust in his tracks, but it's not without its battles, and I gotta keep going after it. Well, I think I'm gonna start back at the trans pan. I'll drop that first, and then I'll, then I'll come back and address these lines afterwards. Yikes. All right, let's get back to work. This is the transmission dipstick. What we're gonna do is follow this thing down, right down to the bell housing. We have a little 13 millimeter bolt that is holding up the dipstick. We're gonna crack that off and that'll help us drop the transmission pan. All right, got a 3 8 ratchet on a small extension, 13 millimeter deep dish. Let's reach down in here and crack this free. Oh yeah, this is tight. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> There we go. Now when push comes to shove, hopefully this thing won't hang us up. All right, now we are underneath. We're gonna go right here to the drain plug. We're gonna crack this off and drain all the old trans fluid. All right, got our 14 millimeter and our trusty yuck bucket. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Ooh, baby. She is black. Yikes. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Gonna go ahead and cap this back up. Yuck. Black trans fluid. That's something you really don't want to see. You really don't want to smell it either. It smells like a foot. But there we go. Just tighten it a little bit right there. We'll worry about the rest of it later. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove 20 or so little hex head fasteners and we'll drop the uh, transmission pan. All right, all these little guys should be 10 millimeter. One. Two.
so there's 19 transmission bolts. I left the last two right up in here. Where are they? There they are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock the pan, well, they're loosened, so I'm gonna knock the pan gently with a hammer. It's gonna fall down, hopefully, this end's gonna hang down, and then I'm gonna open this again and let the rest of it drip into my yuck bucket over here. Man, this would have been a lot easier if I just zoomed out. There we go. Look at all that. Now, uh, just be careful because you don't wanna go ahead and bend the old pan. Make sure everything's nice and loose before you pull it down. Get all that. Hey, I'm glad I did that. Good idea, me. <laughs> all right, once again, rust has put me in a bit of a pickle. My upper portion of the dipstick and the lower portion of the dipstick seem to be fused together with rust. I cannot budge it, break it free. Um, it is on there. So uh, I tried to wiggle this off, but of course, I couldn't get that uh, to break free either. I even tried to loosen up some of these trans lines with this uh, eight millimeter fastener. I took that out, gave this clip some room to breathe, and still I can't wiggle anything apart. Man, this is just gonna suck. there come on oh <laughs> hey I did it oh cheap my life I need to make t-shirts all right guys we finally got the trans pan out here's all the nasty grime in here a lot of this is rust that dripped in from trying to wiggle this out here you can tell how bad and rusted this was together. This is the top part of the dipstick, and this part is fused to the pan. Again, I couldn't get this apart for the life of me, so it all came out together. Uh, here is the bottom of the pan. It's uh, pretty ugly. Uh, this whole thing is gonna need some work to be restored. Here's a trans line, so we got new ones of these. But uh, here are the connections also. I'm gonna have to clean all this stuff up Clean this up, I'll get back to you when this stuff is uh, all nice and clean. Alright guys, start off with the trans oil pan. I cleaned this up, painted it. It's not going to be perfect. I got a couple of rust pits in there still. What are you going to do? <laughs> I dropped it anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Not perfect, but it's 100% uh, better than it was before. Not too shabby. The inside's looking good. Ready for some RTV, all clean. We got the magnets cleaned up and... Uh, dipstick tube nice and painted. Here is the other half, the top half of the dipstick tube. I was able to separate it miraculously with a torch, just like I showed my buddy Eric over there at d and &E in the garage. I think I have to heat this up, as Project Dan said, and it should come out. He said cherry red. Oh, you look at that. Daniel, you're right on that one. Oh, that's, that's super hot. Look at that. Torching it is basically the only way to separate a rusted old dipstick, just like this was. Unfortunately, when you do that, you burn up the O-rings. So what I did was I got a whole bunch of assorted O-rings from the auto parts store. Um, universal O-rings right there. And it's looking good. Dipstick almost complete. Again, not going to be perfect. You can still see a lot of the rust pitting up there. But hey, much better than it was. That's ready to go back together. What else do we have? Oh, here is the actual dipstick itself. I scrubbed this up, hit the uh, little icon with some black Sharpie. That's nice and fresh, looking good. Uh, here we got all my bolts, nice and restored. I threw these in the tumbler for a couple days. Then I uh, cleaned them up, got all the junk off them and soaked them in a bag with a little bit of WD-40, keeping them fresh. Here is my drain bolt. That's cleaned up too. There we go. We have restored parts for this filter. We're gonna go ahead and install this now. I got my yuck bucket. <laughs> Should have left my yuck bucket under there for the last couple days because it's been dripping on the driveway. Sorry driveway, I'm gonna have to fix you eventually. Here is my new filter. This is, what is this? Here we go, F123. Easy peasy. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's inside this. 
new filter beautiful little cork gaskets don't break those a new trans pan gasket we're not going to use those because uh i'm going to use rtv the factory way so bye and of course 10 millimeter all right here we go gonna try to do everything one-handed you guys get the best shots when i do it one-handed so here we go 10 millimeter oh yeah that's on tight but oh broke it free two there we go crack the seal drain filter drain Got it. All right, just blotting some of the yucky oil off all this stuff down here. It's gonna prevent the uh, dripping in the eyeballs. Don't want that. So I got my scraper and I'm gonna remove any old adhesive material and yuckies also. <laughs> all right, some brake parts cleaning on the paper towel. I'm just gonna wipe down all that mating surface. Keep it real clean, free of contaminants. Gonna want our RTV to stick nice and good. All right, let's go ahead and mount up our new filter. Here we go. We got some nice little cork gaskets. One over here, one up there. One goes in, one goes out. <laughs> Simple stuff. And we're just gonna line up the holes, the old mounting holes. Now we'll just go ahead and put in our bolts. All right, now we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Now this one has cork gasket on each side, so we'll go ahead and alternate these so it tightens them up nice and evenly. I'm gonna want that gasket to be uh, evenly pressed in all around. Awesome. All right. Gonna wipe this edge with brake clean. Once again, make sure all the Nasty finger oils and transmission oils is off. There we go. That is clean. Now we're going to go with the good old high temp red RTV. This is a fairly new jug. And we're just going to go across this whole lifted side, this whole raised part. That's what's going to make contact. So oh, there we go. Nice generous helping of the good stuff. And we'll just smooth it out. Make it one nice even line. And we're gonna go around every bolt hole. All right, we're gonna grab some transpan bolts. We're gonna take our transpan Nice and freshly coated with the good stuff. We're gonna go install this bad boy. And definitely make sure you have your magnets in place. You don't wanna drop this down to put magnets back in. All right, we got the trans pan in hand and a couple of bolts. This is the hard part. We're gonna to wanna to try to maneuver this sucker in here without hitting the exhaust or the crossbar. And <laughs> we don't wanna get our, uh, our adhesive blobbed on anywhere it's not supposed to be, so kind of an interesting delicate game we got going on here and just gonna work that into place here we go looks like I got a bolt hole lined up so that's the one I'm gonna go for that was actually pretty smooth get one of these bolts on I got one on there hand tight. Let's find myself another one. This one looks good. There we go. <laughs> That's it. 
smooth sailing from here on out. We got three bolts in, everything's in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put in all, what are they, 19 of them? I forgot already. Gonna pin all my bolts. Then we're gonna wait one hour. Then we'll torque this thing down. This little Motovex Universal swivel does the trick for the ones blocked by the cross member and the exhaust. Hit up Chris Watson for a set of these tools. These are great. I love them. High quality and spring action. They keep it nice and firm for you so it doesn't flop around. Mention my name, Dan H, and you'll get a 10% discount. All right, this trans pan is looking great. Here we go, it is time to torque down our trans pan. We're gonna get under there and we're gonna torque it down to about 150 inch pounds. That's only about 12 to 13 foot pounds. Do not over tighten them. 